Shabbat Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Whew. All right. Um, you know, I'm just back at you again with another lesson. And, um, you know, I'm pumped up in the spirit. I wanted to do a show before. You know, I, I uh, basically had some, did some business, whatever. But, um, you know, I think it's better now. I got everything out the way. And I can actually uh, go into this topic. And, you know, the flavor of the week. You know, you got them guys from Baltimore coming against the brothers from Boston, GMS Boston, Baltimore. And um, you can clearly see, you know, that guy's off, man. You, you know, you are uh, talking smack against the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught you to, uh, taught you this truth. You know, um, you had your little quarrel with the brothers in the uh, GMS camp in Baltimore. And the brother did a video, uh, Defender for the Truth. You know, he did a video showing, you know, your, uh, your text messages, man. And uh, how, you know, it looks like in the video how you talk about something, but you still love those brothers. You know, brothers did, they show, they chopped it up, you know, and uh, just shows you that you're a snake, man. But um, I ain't about to call you names and everything like that. You know, this this video is, you know, draw me into the spirit of doing it from, you know, Elder Apostle Gabar, uh, Elder Apostle R Rumlop. You know, they did some beautiful shows earlier, live stream, um, you know, going into the novice and, you know, a bunch of knucklehead, the young guys, man. Now, I myself, you know, which, you know, we don't like to talk about ourselves, but I think uh, for edification's sake, me being a young man as well, you know, I've been in this truth for about, I guess, eight, nine, I don't know, one of those two, close to 10. And um, the brother Shalomai in the camp is right there near me too. He's been around since I've been in. I'm just like a few, I don't know, a uh, few months, maybe more than a brother he could tell you himself. But um, but uh, this message is to the young brothers out there that that you now learning that you're a Hebrew Israelite, man. You can't disrespect that your your elders. I'm not even gonna say the elders. I'm gonna say your elders, because the elders, you know, the apostles and the elders apostles of Great Millstone, all right. You know, they are the elders of Israel, straight up. You know, all, everybody learns from the apostles. You know, the apostles taught us, you know, how to uh, to actually teach. You know, I, you know, here we go again, speaking of me, right? Um, I myself, when I was in the world growing up, I was just straight up as an athlete, man. I wasn't no teacher, God, this and that. You know, I nowhere near speaking and public speaking and things like that. So, you know, I ain't the best at those things, but, you know, I strive. And over the years, when I came into this truth, you know, one thing I learned, the apostles teach us how to teach, okay? So, you know, when you say, you know, you disrespecting the apostles, who taught you how to teach? Who taught you to actually understand the scriptures? Who taught you how to go into the Greek, try to go, uh, to go into the Hebrew, all right? That was the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. Eh? All right. You even got other camps doing it, man. You know, but they'll never give double honors and give just due when it's due because it's a lot of pride going on. You know, a lot of hate against the elders because, you know, they like Floyd Mayweather. You know, they undefeated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And that's just a word because it's just truth. You can't go wrong if you speak the truth, man. And that's why here at Great Millstone, we have 100 percent truth. And um, I just got a few precepts, you know, um, about. How you're not supposed to disrespect your elders, man. You know, um, you know. Remember when I was just coming in? You know, um, there was a lot of stupid shit that you know uh, that you would do when you first come in, man. And that's because you're a novice. You know, that's because you're a babe. And um, you know, you got sons that 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 they go off and they get reproved. And, and, and it'd be better off of them later on because they what? Repent. They have gained experience. Then you got sons that would just need to be told what to do. And they don't have to go through hardship, you know? You know, you got men that that uh, need their butt whoop in order to get it. And you got men that just need to be told what it is in order to get it, you know? Now, you don't have to be 
the one that gets your ass whooped if you just listen, man. You know, and really, you know, it's about being humble, being lowly, all right? Being thankful that we got this truth, that we got this word, man. Because the Lord didn't have to choose the individual. He didn't have to choose us. He could have chose anybody, man. Man, the Lord could have raised up women if he wanted to, you know? You know, but the Lord chose men. And he, especially, he's, you know, he, he chose particular men, chosen men. You know, men that was going to hold their integrity, men that was going to, he was going to make the ambassadors, stewards, men that was going to be teachers. You know, first scripture coming in mind, one of my favorite scriptures, all right, is, um, let me get this, uh, I'm just going to read it. I could quote it, but I'd rather get the scripture. Um, say, I, I think I say this in every lesson. Uh, Jeremiah 3, and uh, I start at 13. It says, know what? I started at 13. It says, only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. And that applies to us as well because before we knew this truth, we had a Gentile frame of minds. We, we, all, was gent we all turned to Gentiles, all right? In order for us to know this truth, we had to learn from who? We had to learn from men. So that means you do have to follow men. That's the way the Lord set it up, man. Okay? And I'm thinking of another scripture that I want to get in Thessalonians 4. All right? Because there's an order in this truth. The Lord said he's not the author of confusion. You know? I believe that God said he's, what, five years in? How you five years in and you talking great swelling words against the apostles, against the elders? You know, you, you talking, you going against brothers that have been teaching and doing, dealing in this truth longer than you. That just shows you, you know, you young fruit out there that these are examples of men who you don't want to be like. You don't want to be like the guy from ITR, you know, with the, the uh, juvenile, you know, with the lineup. You don't want to be like the guy from Detroit. Uh, Mac, uh, the apostles call him Mac 10. You don't want to be like um, um, these, 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 uh, like Sakari, okay, Alize. You don't want to be like these guys, man. You don't want to, you don't want to be like these guys and and thinking you can do this because you got it. Because at one point you have to learn from men before you. You know, it's this thing going out because of social media, because you got, you know, the word is spreading, man. So you got a lot of niggas in the hood all right knowing that they're hebrew israelites but instead of them being obedient or be it or, or being disciplined by you know a, a steward being disciplined by a teacher a church that the lord set up they want to do it their own way and like the elder apostle gabar said in his show earlier you know we're going to find out who really men of the lord i pray and hope that i'm a man of the lord man you know because when them darkest hours come this is why me per se, here I go with I again, right? You know, I I mainly prophesize always of 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 the being a realist, you know, things of reality, you know, talking about the destruction and the time that's coming, you know, having strength. We have to pray to the Lord, you know, to have strength in that day. We want to hope that the Lord will have mercy on us, because it's we're, we're coming down to that time where we're going to see who really men of the Lord. We all going to be persecuted, man. We all going to be put against the odds. Uh, against life and death and we're gonna have to choose the lord or we're gonna choose the world which is we know the world is satan you know we hope that we're exempt from the hours of temptation man that's why we push forth this word the way we do this is why brothers doing shows and videos the way they do you know pouring out that spirit that sincere spirit to help man you know to, to show you the way of salvation man you know, having a grudge or having this animosity, you know, or in your heart, you want to be a leader, you know, hey, you don't, you can't force yourself to be a leader. You just have to be, you know, it just has, it just be placed upon you by the Lord. You know, you don't just think that you somebody and you want this. And another thing too, it's not about the views, man. You know, the views blind, the views blind, blind you, man. That's the Lord tactic, man. The Lord will give you your constellation. 
he give you your uh, fame, you know, by your views and likes. All those people that's viewing and that's liking the video don't mean the elect. You know, you're no better than another brother that, that get less views, man. You know, and that's what the world, they are fan base. The world is like, a, you know, the people that's watching, they, you know, if they're not taking this truth seriously, they just fans. Fans is not going to make it. Fans is going to be destroyed here in Babylon. Okay. But the men of the Lord, they're going to be delivered. You know, so uh, let me get back. It says, go with, uh, only acknowledge thy iniquity. All right. So you're supposed to acknowledge your sins, man. It says um, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord, thy power. When you go against the men of the Lord, you're going against the Lord. You know, a lot of you guys don't fear men. Now, the scriptures say we don't, we don't fear no man, we fear the most high. But I'll hit you with something. Men and men in the truth, men that are over you and in, in, in good standing, men that are ranked higher than you, men that the most high and Yahweh Shah is well pleased of, you have to fear those men too. You know, you want to say, oh, we man pleasers. I remember it was a time like a year ago, guys was calling me a man pleaser, you know, or two years ago. I remember that, you know, and you guys are still saying to this day, well, who gives a fuck what you think? You know, me personally, I'm getting to the age where I don't give a fuck. I've been not giving a fuck what people think. You know, you got to be, uh, in this world, we consider it like crazy because we, we go against the odds. We we go out there and put our face before all the sea. We stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. People talk about us. People say stuff. But guess what? Within the brotherhood, we're saying, man, okay, to the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we in order, man. So I'm going to hit you with something. You do have to fear men, you know. I, I guarantee you this, you wouldn't talk that shit to King David's face. Let's take it back to the ancient world. Put yourself there. You wouldn't talk that way to King David. He'll smack the hell out you. He'll smack your head off, man. All right? You wouldn't talk that to Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior himself. The scriptures say he was an austere man. So what if Yahweh Shai got on you about your pride? What if Yahweh Shai got on you about you not keeping the law? You know? And you got your feelings hurt or you got embarrassed before men. Then what? You're going to say Yahweh Shai had a devil? What about the men that Yahweh Shai set up? He set up apostles to govern the church. All right? Then he set up other men. Then, of course, down the line, you got men being set up, men being set up to what? Have order. So. And has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. And you haven't obeyed the voice. Now, what's the voice? The voice of the Lord is the men, the messengers, the prophets. The voice of the Lord is the body. The men that go out in the highways and byways speaking his truth. That's the voice. They're the messengers. That's who the Lord used to condemn, reprove, rebuke, you know, to exhort his name. Verse 14, turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and will take you one, one of a city, two of a family, and will bring you to Zion. And you see, it says, one of a city, two of a family. That means the elect is very scarce, man. So, you know, to make it into this truth, you're going to be scarcely, hey, scriptures say the righteous are scarcely saved, man. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. The, the, the righteous is, is, is just going to, just by the skin of their teeth making it man okay and it's few of us it's not many elect out there all right you have the one-third but we're focused on the 144 you know the lord is you know the one-third they come they, they coming in when the 144 be sealed man okay because the lord said the tabernacle is with men all right he's not gonna have uh his elect um uh uh, uh in different doctrines you know, teaching something different. If the heads that he set up to teach the right way, why is part of the body teaching a different way? If if I if if I have a head, of course I have a my head, and I'm my head is telling my arm to pick up my juice, it's gonna pick it up. It's not gonna my hand's not gonna fight against me because it don't want to pick up the juice. You know, we supposed to be a body part in the Lord, but the ones that are speaking hundred percent truth. 
and speaking, uh, uh, you know, and prophesizing the prophecies to come, man. You know, these are the men of the Lord, man. All right. So let me get to the point because I'm dragging this out. Um, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that was the major point of this whole issue, man. You know, the Lord gave us pastors according to his mind that will feed us with knowledge and understanding. So young brothers, you have to be obedient to the men that are over you, man. And especially the heads thereof, man. You know, hey, let me hit you with something. If the apostles bless us, hey, that's a, hey, whew. You know, if the they, they, that, that's a beautiful thing. But if the apostles curse you, oh, that's a horrible thing, man. Because the Most High have befriended these men. You think Yahweh Shai is going to go against the ones, his friends who he's been with and he labeled with? He supped with for all these years just to please a nigga that been in the truth that just know of him five, five years. You ain't in the truth. You know, you got to think upon these things, man. And this is, I know this, he ain't going to probably say it. Or if you do, I'm speaking to the, this is for the elect, man, for you other brothers out there that fall victim and to that pride thinking you want to be like a Sakari. You want to be like a, um, ITR. You want to be like Mac 10 from Detroit. Um, who else? Uh, who else, man? <laughs> it's so many. All right. So, you know, let me get in right into these scriptures, man. Um, you know what? Let me get this scripture real quick before I even go into the scriptures I had lined up. Now, this is First Thessalonians chapter four. And 15, right? Because there's an order in this thing, man. You know? The Lord is going to deliver us in order, you know, <laughs> and I'm going to prove that. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15. It says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain. Nope, let me start up. Yeah, let me start at 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them that are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. Verse 14, For if we believe in that Yahawashai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahawashai will the Most High bring with him. Okay? For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So that's just showing you order. You got men that right now that they died in this truth. And right now their spirits is up there waiting, waiting upon the Lord to fulfill the prophecies, man. Okay. And we're here, uh, remain on the earth. But guess what? Who's going to be, be delivered before us? The ones that passed away in the Lord, man. Okay. Because they're going to be the first ones in those ships, man. This is why you have to understand order. The Hebrew word for order is Iraq, man. And the order should make you humble. It's just respect. All right. So maybe the type, yeah, like I said, the title of this video would be respect the elders. Okay. Respect your elders or whatever, which way how I put it, man. We're spirit of the Lord. So it says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of the Most High and the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Okay. It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. All right. Now, I see this video is going to be a little lengthy, but I'm going to try to speed it up. It says, uh, Now it's my preset, right? Quick, quick, another scripture. Uh, Hebrews 13, 17, it says, Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch over your souls. So if a, so, if you going off and a brother corrects you, you know, especially a brother that's over you in the spirit, you know, you're supposed to take heed, man. You're supposed to take heed because why? He's watching over your soul. And how much more from the top, from the heads, man, the apostles. You know, they give us warnings. They update. They, they constantly do shows. They, they feed us uh, uh, the time, you know, and which uh, what manner 
we supposed to be in. You know, that's why you're supposed to be watching. You know, even when certain demons come up, you may not even notice a demon on the scene. But guess what? You watch the apostles' videos, you watch brothers' videos, the elders, and you get put on to go, okay, this is the new demon of the week. Oh, new new doctrine he's trying to pervert. You know, he's trying to pervert the, the doctrine. You know, you know. So it says, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch over your souls. All right, just like a father. You know, uh, one thing about you having a biological father and a biological mother. The Lord said in the law, honor thy father and honor thy mother. So how much more your spiritual fathers, man? All right? Where they fed you this beautiful gospel of the Lord. You know, they, they fed you the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding of this word. For you to even believe and call upon the name of the Lord. How would you know except you was taught by a preacher? Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch over your souls And if anybody tell you different, you know, oh, you a man pleaser you this and you that Oh, why are you following men and this and that? Listen, they don't have the understanding. They're Satan unto you And they're trying to get you to, to go backwards, man You know, this is the this is the whole job of the scoffers You know to cause a, a curveball, you know to get brothers to show discord among brethren, you know, or this and that You know Remember, this message, this video is for the Lord's whole for elect, for you not to fall victim like these dumbass niggas, man. All right? That's disrespecting apostles, man. Disrespecting elders and brothers, man, because of their own pride. The most high going to jack you niggas up, man. Least ye repent, man. You know? It says, um, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. And our apostles do that well. That's why they're worthy of what? Double honest, man. Because it is, they are profitable unto us. Okay? This is 1 Timothy chapter 5 and 1. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father, and the younger man as brethren. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Now, the apostles and elders, hands down. All right? are known for laboring all right then they're, they're known for the doctrine of yahweh shai man they're known for the hundred percent truth you know and that speaks for itself it says rebuke not an elder but entreat him as a father you wouldn't disrespect your father he'll punch you in your fucking face you know that you disrespect your father and he he he, he still got some you he still got some strength to him he'll knock your ass out straight up man it says, and the younger men as brethren. So the younger men, they're supposed to be brothers. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honors. You know, you learning all this and learning all that. And now all of a sudden you got it. Now, now, now you the top shot. You know, what you chasing, you know, after Sakari, he the one received, he received the reward from the congregation of the dead. To be in the mighty, the, 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 the prophet of the year. I would never forget that. That is crazy. I would never forget that, man. You know? That's crazy. But um, on to the next. First Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Okay, and it could be an elder in your camp, camp leader. You know, it could be the elders uh uh out there in Connecticut, it could be an elder out there in the different different places, man, that been laboring in the word. You know, could be the elders out there in the main camp, could be the elders and apostles, man. All right. The heads thereof. All right. So it says, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. You know, that's one thing I think God's forget about. We supposed to be humiliated, you know, in front of in front of in front of the world. The world's not going to accept Yahweh Shai. We do. Okay, they're not gonna accept Yahweh Shai, so they're gonna laugh, they're gonna scoff. So why would I care about what what these people think? And they're not even in the truth, you know. But that be that pride built up in man, you know. Oh, you rebuked me on camera, so I gotta do this to you, you know. Hey, if you don't want to get rebuked like that, should have stayed humble, man. Should have kept your mouth closed, you know. So then now, when you got corrected, you'll be thinking you'll be 
go crazy how about your mouth shot. I'm glad I didn't lash out and say this and say that, man. You saved me all the humility, man. You saved me all the hurt that I would have went through and all the Satan demonic spirits going through my mind of, you know, wanting to fight back and do something, man. I don't who wants to be in that position, man. You know? It says, uh, and be clothed with humility, for the most high resisteth the proud. He resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. And see, that's why the humble they end up receiving grace. You know, because they be humble about it, man. You got some you got some sons that have to get their ass whooped because they been told, but they still want to do them. And then now they're gambling down the line. They better hope the Most High have mercy on them in order to save their soul. So they, they can actually say, look, I know better now. But then you got some sons that they just need to be told what to do and they, they got it. They get it. You know? Um, on to the next. This is Job chapter 12 and 12. With the ancient, with the ancient is wisdom and in length of days understanding. Okay, the length of days is understanding, man. You know, these men that have been serving before you, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, they got the length of days, they have more understanding. It says, with him is wisdom and strength. See, wisdom and strength. That's what we want to get before the dreadful day of the Lord. The knowledge and wisdom shall be what? The stability of thy times. He have counsel and understanding. That's why you're supposed to seek counsel when you don't know something, man. If you, you stumbling on a breakdown or you heard one of these demons, you don't want to get seduced in the spirit by these damn demons, man. You know, these fucking uh, wicked ass doctrines. ITR teaching that the 12 tribes ain't the 12 tribes. Confusing your whole mind up now. Judah ain't Judah. How you know? Like, come on, man. You bug the fuck out. That's like somebody saying, how you know the sky is really blue? That's what they told you. That's what they told you. But how you know that's blue? How you know blue is blue? How you know red is red? How you know red ain't really white and white ain't really red? Like, that's that stupid shit, man. Anyway, he have counsel and understanding. He have counsel and understanding. All right, so from here, where's my other one? Uh, let's go back. Slack, excuse me. Let me, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, I got a few. One. I'm, I'm gonna read through these quick because it's about to be 30 minute mark. So, um, first Timothy 5 and 1 rebuke not an elder, which I went over, but entreat him as a father and the younger man as brethren. We went over that. Proverbs 19 and 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. Ooh. All right. When you don't know something, you're supposed to seek counsel, man. You know, and if you can't get the breakdown from a brother, you got to wait till the Lord give it to you. That's another thing. Guys got to learn how to wait, man. You know, if you don't, if you, you might have hit a brother up on a comment board. Give me this breakdown. Brothers ain't got to jump to give you shit. Brothers are doing the work. It's up to you to find it. It's up for them, up for you to put those prayers up to the Lord. And ask the Lord to guide you, man. You know, we, we teach. And if you get it, when you, you when you get it, you get it. You know? Brothers ain't gonna just gotta just teach you. We we're teaching the world, man. And and anyway, basically all the lessons are all on YouTube anyway. You just gotta put GMS behind it, man, when you type it in. You gotta know how to type it in. You know? GMS, the apostles, elders, brethren, man, the whole Bible was covered, man. This Bible is no longer a mystery. All right. Everything is being revealed. Everything has been revealed. OK, so. Hear counsel and receive instructions that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. So in the latter end, the most high show mercy. You don't want to be those guys, man. When the Lord said, I never knew you. You think that you got you think the apostles hurt your feelings when they did a video on you. You wait till the Lord himself tell you, I never knew you, man. You know, depart from me. You, you, uh, Nick, you workers of iniquity, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think they, I don't think that's that sink in too much. Guys are too carnal, man. You don't know nothing about the spirit, man. Because, man, I, anyway, um, 
Hebrews 13, 17. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they have watch over your souls as they that must give account and they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable un 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 for you. We read that. First Peter 5 and 5. Likewise, you younger men, submit yourself to the elders. Right, we read that. Now Ephesians 6 and 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. You have your biological parents, your fleshly parents, which you was born from, and you have your spiritual parents. They all matter. All right. You have to honor your father and mother as your fleshly, fleshly, fleshly parents. And your spiritual parents is even held highly on a higher scale because they taught you Yahweh Shai, man. That's who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have used to for you to know him. All right. You had Apostle Paul when he was he was actually taught by Yahweh Shai, man, himself. All right. But I guarantee you, you you younger guys that got that pride, you're not Apostle Paul. Yahweh Shai ain't coming to teach you shit, you know, because you're not humble. All right. Well, really, because you're not of the elect when it really boils down to it, unless ye repent. All right. Um, uh, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Thou shalt, uh, so excuse me, Leviticus 19.32, thou shalt rise up before the hoary head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy power. I am the Lord. Right, that speaks for itself. Um, now I'll read that. Sorry, I'm going through it fast. I want to hurry up. Also, that we saw without knowledge. Okay, um, look, generation. All right, this is Proverbs 19 and 2. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. All right, so let me read that again, man. It says also that the soul be without knowledge, right? It is not good. If you a man and you're an Israelite and you don't have the knowledge of the mo of the most high of Yahweh Shai, it is not good. Not good for you. All right. And not just knowing, not just knowing of the Lord and his name, but having the manners in yourself to follow the Lord and his name. All right. It is not good for you. So. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. That he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. So you're trying to strive to become somebody quick. You want to be noticeable. You want to be this guru. You want to be the ultimate warrior. You know? Well, guess what? It says, and he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. All right? Because you're placing yourself above men that are above you. All right? Um... And that's basically it, man. Yeah. So, um, Lord willing, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, to the Lord's hope for elect, teaching his word, you know, hopefully it's edifying, man. And brothers, remain humble, you know, for the newly fruit out there. Look at these other guys as examples, man. You know, we all got to be, we all got to learn lessons, you know, in this truth, you got to, you got to learn levels. You got it. You know how you play a video game? Let's take it back to um let's take it back to um take it back to um like Atari, Nintendo, right? You take it back. You take it back to that, right? And you remember those video games where where you had to reach the next level. take it back to those video games where you had to reach the next level all right but in order to get to the next level you had to beat that level that's how it is in this truth man how the lord have us grow in the spirit is levels you know certain certain calamity certain tribulations certain certain uh levels where the lord chastised you certain things where you you pick up because the most high have opened your, your spirit up to receive because you this you had this age in the spirit. You know? So it's levels in this thing, man. It's levels that you have to pass, man. And then you're gonna always then the scriptures say, Oh, I think I missed one. Um offenses must come. Who was that? So like I just quoted though, but offenses must come, man. You know?
defenses must come. You know, you're going to be tried. You know, you're going to get into some type of, um, you're going to have those thoughts, those evil thoughts cross your mind, you know? But it's about, you know, how you go about it. You, know, you don't lash out. You don't let them take over your mind. You talk to brothers. You seek counsel, you know? Stop with all that bullshit, getting drunk and shit, and they got them evil thoughts and take thinking bad on the apostles. Let me ask you something. What, did you ever meet the apostles, man? Have you stood before them? Have you ever saluted them? You know? But guys got all this shit talking about the apostles and elders like 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 you've been around these men, man. You know, like you know these men. You know? And that's those evil thoughts that go across your mind when you should have had checked it, man. But now you got checked. In all reality, that's the Lord because, you know, you just probably not of the elect. And Lord knows I hope and pray that I'm the elect, man. I'll be a part of the elect, you know. You know, just like David said, being able to, uh, you know, even if I have to be a doorkeeper, man, that's true, man. You know, it's, it's going to be a blessing, man, to be the elect when the Lord come back, man. To be delivered from this hell is, you don't understand, man. You know, we all worthy of uh, death. And, um, you know, but we, we have mercy through your outshot because we strive, all right? And because we repent, you know, we acknowledge our wickedness, man. And we continue, you know, the scriptures say, uh, second edges, uh, I believe it's 16. He says, uh, let not thy sins weigh you down, you know, but continue to keep pushing. So this, this message, this, this video is for the whole four elect out there that's watching in you newly fruit. Don't be like them guy, that, that group out there in Baltimore that's coming against the Baltimore G the GMS Baltimore brothers, you know, who the apostles did a video on, you know, and that nigga. And I remember before they was getting on him about his haircut and shit, you know. And don't and stop looking at these damn views, man, and thinking that oh he's a man of the Lord because he's got all these views. That's like zabaking him, you know. Everybody that's watching and that's clicking like or viewing the shit, well excuse me, not shit, but viewing it, is they all of them not the elect, man. You know. So hey, you know, may the Lord be with the uh, sincere brothers. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Badash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elects scattered abroad, teaching his words to certainty and truth. Shalom.